Hey, how you doing? Joshua Kittle here with Opus Advisors. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in today. And I think we're here at the uh, last video of the uh, review on USDA loans and kind of what goes into those. So uh, hopefully you've had a chance to watch some of the other videos. If not, check out the timeline of the archives on my YouTube page and you'll be able to check out uh, those past videos. So today I just want to talk about USDA and mortgage insurance. So uh, I will be having another video that you'll be able to find on my YouTube page as well that deals with just an overview of mortgage insurance and with all the different loan programs. But today we're going to focus on just what's required with USDA and mortgage insurance. So USDA is a government loan program and like all the other government loan programs, FHA and VA, they have what's called an upfront funding fee. So they don't technically label this as mortgage insurance, but it is a fee that's required on every single USDA loan. And currently, that is at 2.75% of your loan amount. So if you're buying a house for 100% and you're going to be adding that finance fee, because this, this fee here is allowed to be tacked onto your loan. So you can actually get a loan amount of 102.75% uh, when you add this on there. So there's that fee to keep in, in, uh, in mind. Because if you're looking or if you're online and you're doing some mortgage calculators for USDA loans, um, or you're wondering why is it that my lender is showing me a loan amount and it's higher than what my purchase price is, don't panic. Your lender didn't, didn't mess up. The reason for that is, again, USDA is charging 2.75%. You can choose to pay that in full if you like and not finance it, but then that would defeat the purpose of 100% financing. So as a rule, it's added on to it. Now, in addition to that one-time, and that is a one-time fee, in addition to that one-time fee, USDA has a monthly mortgage insurance that is 0.5% annually. So the way that works out is you, you don't just take the loan amount times it by half a percent because then th that would be the yearly premium. You'd want to take that premium and divide it by 12 to get to your monthly premium. This fee is a life of loan fee, so it does not go away once you've got 20% equity. A lot of people who are familiar with mortgage insurance uh, know that if you're going with a conventional loan, if you have 20% or more equity, you either don't have to have mortgage insurance, or if you did have it, it would go away, and then you would be, your, your payment would go down. This is not true with USDA loan or FHA. So again, that would be part of your payment life of loan. So when you're looking at your total payment with USDA, you're going to look at purchase price. You're going to add 2.75% of that. Then you're going to take that loan amount and apply your interest rate to it. And then you want to make sure, of course, not to forget to add in your taxes, your homeowner's insurance, and then that monthly mortgage insurance that will be there with, with the loan. Now, just again, on that loan, the uh, MI, it is based on the loan amount. So as you pay down your loan over time, that premium will reduce. Um, so it doesn't stay at the, the top premium for the, for the life loan. The way to get away from that uh, MI would be if in the future you've got enough equity or believe you have enough equity and interest rates are still favorable to justify it, you could do a refinance out of the USDA loan, use your current equity in the position to be able to qualify for perhaps a conventional loan. And again, if you have more than 20% uh, equity in the, in the house, you'd be able to get that loan and not have mortgage insurance. But as I tell all my clients, you want to make sure you're happy with the loan you have today because a year or two years from now, when you're ready to do the refi and try to remove that MI, you don't know what the interest rates are going to be. And so you want to make sure, of course, that it adds up to be a better payment for you. Plus, you do have additional costs with refinancing, so you don't want to sit there and bank on that. So, anyway, I hope this answers your questions about USDA, what it has about mortgage insurance, and how that's uh, calculated. If you still have questions about the program, feel free to give me a call, 541 521 6383. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and just give me a, a private message, and I'd be more than happy to give you a call. All right, appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy this series on USDA. Have a fantastic day.